So the Gippsland Region Public Health Unit is working with the agriculture industry to increase knowledge around Q fever um, and also raise vaccination levels for the same condition. So we're particularly interested in Q fever in Gippsland because we have a um, larger number of cases than other regions in Victoria. So we have about 25% of the cases in Victoria, but we only make up about 4% of the population. So Q fever is a bacterial infection that can cause a severe flu-like illness. So fever, chills, headache, cough and muscle aches. For some people it can even cause inflammation of the liver and the lungs. Um, and for others it can go on and affect their ability uh, to work for many years and affect their health for many years with a chronic fatigue-like condition and it can even affect their heart. Uh, so my name is Richard Shepherd. I'm a veterinarian working mostly with cattle and of late I've run an epidemiology consultancy which looks at the patterns of disease in populations. The basic reason that Q fever is important in agriculture is because it is ubiquitous in, in cattle, sheep, goats. So your herd, you may not know this, they, they can pass that disease amongst themselves and show, show no signs of infection, but you, your workers, your visitors, can become exposed to the disease. And there's two common pathways of exposure. One, it's through fluids from the animal, and that would include things like birthing fluids. But the, but the, the pathogen is very capable of, of living for a long period of time and circulate through dust. So people who visit your farm, even if they don't directly touch their animals, can become exposed to Q fever. And it's quite, in most people have disease like I had it, which was a mild, well, it wasn't mild, it was pretty severe case of flu felt like for two weeks but there is a proportion of people who go on to develop chronic Q fever and or um, chronic fatigue syndrome which can be lifelong debilitating and basically ruins lives. The best way to protect yourself, your workers and your family against Q fever is to get vaccinated. A safe and effective vaccine is available through your GP. You will need to be tested beforehand for immunity the vaccine is for anyone aged 15 and over who works in a high-risk occupation.